Far, far away in the depths of space, there is a tiny rock floating amongst the stars. The planet, situated on the edge of the great unknown, is home to a curious civilization. Many years ago, their scientists uncovered strange radio signals emanating from a black hole orbiting their sun. The signals seem to originate from a planet in a nearby galaxy. The inhabitants of the mysterious planet called their home Earth, and there was no shortage of radio waves to be had. Earth's culture quickly rubbed off on our enigmatic aliens, giving rise to a culture based solely on their interpretation of the people of Earth. They watched television programs, listened to phone conversations, and stayed glued to the news broadcasts that bombarded their planet from across the cosmos. The people of Earth bickered and argued with one another, broadcasting their disagreements and differences across the vast expanse of space, unknowingly influencing a civilization unbeknownst to them. This civilization was called the Blinkless, and their home planet called New Cornea. Under Earth's influence, New Cornea became a thriving metropolis whose population exhibited all the worst traits of the Earthlings. But not all of the Blinkless fell victim to the materialistic impulses that drove their society forward. There were a select few who questioned the status quo, their voices quickly silenced by corporate interests and government control. The following account is based on the true story of two friends who sought out answers to questions which should never have been asked. Their story serves as a warning to all who seek to discover the truth and uncover the untold mysteries hidden from the public for generations. Their story is but one of many tales to be told of the Blinkless. Where's the shipment? We don't have it. The forests have all been cleaned out. Cleaned out? You mean the trees are all dead? All the trees in our database have been picked clean. The demand is just too much for them to handle. Oh, that's not good. The boss is not gonna be happy about this. We tried scouring other planets, but the search turned up nothing. Well, what do we tell him? He'll surely have our heads for this one. What do we tell him? You're his favorite. I think it's only fair if you were the one to break the news. Me? You were the one in charge of the mission. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell him. You always do this. Every time something goes wrong, you try to pin it on me. Well, who else am I supposed to pin it on? I guess we could throw the scientists under the bus on this one. That's a great idea. How about we just say they should have known it would be a problem months ago? Yeah, they should have known. I love it. I'll go let him know. When in doubt, Blame the scientists. Exactly. I'll radio if there's a problem, but if you don't say anything, I won't either. Come on, man, you know I won't say a word. That settles it then.
Ah, another day in New Cornea City. Another day lost in the labyrinth of concrete and steel. This city, once hailed as a hub of progress and ingenuity, now feels burdened by its own relentless drive. They dub it the city that never blinks. And oddly enough, many folks seem to thrive on that hustle. I'm Jaden, and let me tell you a tale about a wild experience I had here. It kicked off on a scorching summer day a couple of years back. And on this particular day, I was very late to work. Oh crap, I'm late for work! Hey, Mr. Globiazzi, got any deliveries today? Well, 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 there is the ever-famous Jaden. You're late again. Keep this up, and you won't have a job to show up to anymore. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You better hope not. Now, listen up. Today, you've got a special delivery for the scientists at the Institute of Unpopular Opinion. You know how uptight those guys are. They said after what happened last time that I should fire you and get a new delivery guy. Wow, that's pretty harsh. I appreciate you giving me another shot, Mr. Globiazzi. Yeah, well, hopefully they don't remember your face. Don't mess this up for us, Jaden. I can't afford to have you out there screwing around and upsetting customers. I won't let you down, sir. No more bad reviews because of me. I promise. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now get out of here. You're already late for your delivery. Hey, I've got a delivery from Globiazis. I think you guys were expecting it. That beeping, it's incessant. Do you hear it too? I, um, I don't hear anything, man. Ugh, I can't figure out where it's coming from. It's been driving me crazy all day. I don't know, man. Have you checked the batteries in your earpiece? Ugh, that was the first thing I checked. Okay, well, um, can I make my delivery now? Yeah, go on ahead. Up the stairs and down the hall. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. I'll just be down here with the beeping. That must be the place over there. Oh, dang. It looks like they're in the middle of something. I'd better not interrupt. Well, what is it? Have you cracked the code yet, Doctor? I... I'm afraid not, sir. Our team has been working tirelessly, but... But we've hit a dead end. The secret to Super Juice still eludes us. Eludes us? Do you comprehend the gravity of this situation, Doctor? Super Juice is the cornerstone of our entire operation. We can't afford to be at a standstill. I, I understand, sir. But the truth is, we've reached a point where further progress seems impossible without understanding the properties of the Mudutu fruit. Stop. The Mudutu fruit is irrelevant. Super juice is all that matters. Do you understand? We've invested too much now to let a mere fruit derail our plans. Oh man, I know that guy. He's the rich billionaire who coated his whole body in gold. But why does he care about some fruit when he makes all that money off of super juice? What was that sound? Is someone else here? Find out who's out there. Now and make sure they don't leave this building alive. Well, I guess that's my cue. Oh man, Mr. 
Mr. Globiazzi is gonna kill me! Hey, watch out! Was close. I see you've returned empty-handed. What happened? Where is he? Boss, we... we lost him. He slipped away through the alleys. You lost him? What am I paying you for? This is unacceptable. We're sorry, boss. He was fast, and he knew the streets better than we did. I don't want excuses. I want results. Did you at least get a good look at him? It was the same delivery boy from before. The one who caused trouble a couple weeks ago. Him again? That insolent little rat dares to defy us? Yes, boss. He's becoming a nuisance. Then it's time to remind him who's in charge. I want you to hunt him down, find him, and bring him to me. Consider it done, boss. We won't let you down. See that you don't. And remember, failure is not an option. Good morning, New Cornea. It's a hot one today, but the sunshine feels great. And with the weekend ahead, there's plenty of opportunity to take the family out to grab a nice cool bottle of Super Juice. That's right, Cricky. Super Juice will keep you and your family hydrated while you soak in those summer rays. But first, we'll find out how you can keep your kids happy even when they refuse medication. Then we have a reporter on the ground who speaks with a local high school teacher who says the best way to teach kids is through extortion and public embarrassment. Find out how your child's school can participate in the program. Also, do you need date night advice? We'll speak to a marriage counselor who says all you actually need is more money. Are you tired of the same old commute? Some residents of New Cornea City are smoking meth on their way to work to spice things up in the morning. It really does work, Robert. I'm just saying, you might give it a shot. And make sure you tune in to Eyeline with Joven Shockwave tonight as she takes a deep dive into the seedy underbelly of the vigilante yoga movement. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. That's right, grab some super juice and join us as we keep you in the know on what's happening in New Cornea City. And then I said, whoa, watch where you put that thing. And everyone at the party thought it was hilarious. Haha, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, Cricky. I never thought about it like that before. Yeah, what can I say? I guess I just have a way with words. Hi, Cricky. I'm Javed, an intern here at the studio. I sent you an email with my article on pollution. Did you get a chance to read it? Ah, so you're Javed. Yeah, I saw it. But you know, I'm a busy man. I have lots of important things to attend to. Oh, I understand, but I was really hoping for some feedback. I want to improve and- Look, kid, I don't have time for this. Why don't you go bother someone else? Yeah, he's a very busy man. He doesn't have time for this. Why don't you go bother someone else? I'm not giving up, Cricky. I want to learn from the best. Fine. But let me level with you, kid. Your pollution story? It's garbage. No one cares about that stuff. But, but pollution affects everyone. It's important. Sure, sure. But you're missing the point. People don't know what they want. You have to dazzle them with your performance. The news doesn't even have to be real anymore. You have to grab their attention and keep it for as long as possible. But isn't our job to inform the public to- Look kid, you wanna make it in this business, you've gotta learn to play the game. Trust me, I've been doing this for years. Anything short of a story that absolutely blows people's minds and you'll get nowhere. You need a story that sets you apart, that catches your big break. Yeah, I guess you're right. But how do I find a story like that? Of course I'm right. But nobody can tell you how to find your breakthrough story, kid. Who knows? Maybe it'll just fall into your lap if you're lucky. Ha! If you're lucky. Good one, Cricky. And now I think it's time for you to go find your story while I go back to living my life instead of answering more of your questions. Are we done here, kid? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you for your time. Ugh, yeah, whatever. So anyway, then Claire shows up and says her cousin showed up to their grandfather's funeral in a hot dog costume can you believe that? 
Aw oh, man, I'm never gonna find a story good enough. Maybe I should just give up. Whew, that was close! Hey Jaden, what's up my man? What are you doing on this side of town? Yo, Javid, what's poppin'? Man, today has gotten crazy fast. What's going on? Were those guys chasing you? Yeah, man. I was just dropping off a delivery over at the Institute of Unpopular Opinion, and I heard some people talking. So I, you know, stood outside the door for a little bit to see what they were saying. Of course, as any sane person would do. Yeah. Well, I overheard a conversation I wasn't supposed to. There's something going on over there. Something to do with Super Juice. Super Juice? What could be going on with Super Juice? Everybody drinks it. We'd know if there was something wrong with it, right? I don't know. But it sounds like they don't know how it works. There was a scientist there saying he needed to study some weird fruit in order to understand it. Fruit? Are you talking about the Mudutu fruit? Yeah, that's it! You've heard of it? Yeah, but I always thought it was just a legend. People online say the Mudutu fruit will give you all the knowledge of the universe if you eat it. But no one's ever even seen one. Well, those guys over at the Institute certainly think it's real. And now they're hunting me down. Whoa! If this is the real deal, it would be the story of a lifetime. You gotta let me tag along to get the scoop. I guess I could use some help getting these goons off my back. But to blow the whistle on them, we'll need to find out what's going on in the Institute. All right, it's settled then. Let's get to the bottom of this and tell the world the truth about what's really going on. Okay, let's head over to my place for a quick sesh and figure out a plan. So Cricky said I needed the story of a lifetime if I wanted to make it in the business. Maybe this will be it. All right, we're almost there. I always forget how long this walk is. To be honest, he wasn't as nice as I expected. Get down. Those are the guys who chased me earlier. They must have figured out where I live. Man, is this kid ever gonna show up? Doesn't matter, we wait until he does. There's no way we can get to my place with them outside. We'll have to go somewhere else. They must have tracked me back to the restaurant. I hope Mr. Globiazzi is okay. Hey, kid! Ground control, this is the eye in the sky. Coming in hot with new blood. Tell the boss they're here. Copy eye in the sky. You are cleared for landing. Hey, look, mister. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, please, just let us go home. I'm afraid it's too late for that. You already know too much. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't know anything. Yeah, we don't know anything. Don't play dumb with me. I know you overheard the conversation at the Institute, Jaden. And it's so nice of you to bring your friend along. You... you know my name? I know everything about you and everyone else on New Cornea. My corporations create the food you eat, the medicine you take, the books your children read, the cars you drive, and the media you consume. To the public, I am the face of Super Juice, but behind the scenes I run this planet. So what are you going to do with us? Yeah, you can't keep us here. We didn't commit any crimes. That's cute. Every judge, cop, and attorney in the city is on my payroll. I do what I please. Well, how long are you planning to keep us locked up here? Until no one remembers you're alive. Wait a second. Hey, where are you going? Man, we gotta figure out a way out of here. Jaden, I'm scared. We're never going to get out of here. Don't worry. These guys aren't as smart as they look. I have a plan. What kind of plan? Shh. Do you remember how we used to escape from the enemy camps at the arcade when we were kids? Yeah, of course. 
But that was just a video game. This is real life. Exactly. Now follow my lead. Psst. Hey, man, come here for a second. Ugh, what do you want? You know, I've been looking around, and it's no wonder this place is a dump with guards like you. Watch your mouth, kid. Oh, what are you gonna do, bro? Throw me in solitary? Bet that's where you spend most of your nights, hiding from your failures. You don't know anything about me. Oh, I know enough. Like how you sweat bullets every time your boss walks by. Heard he's not too pleased with the recent security breaches. Must be hard being the laughing stock of the prison. You're playing with fire, kid. Is that a threat? Or are you just too spineless to do anything about it? I bet your wife's proud of her brave little guard. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Oh, it looks like I hit a nerve. But let's not forget about your kids. Word is they're ashamed to even mention your name. Can't blame them, really, with such a loser for a dad. That's it. I've had enough of your crap. Let's see what you're made of. Jaden! Oh, man, I'm not cut out for this. Tell me when it's over. Come on, Javid. Let's get out of here. We need to keep moving. It's only a matter of time before they realize we're gone. The way you took down that guard was wild. Where did you learn to fight like that? That's what happens when you grow up in the city with five brothers. I guess that makes sense. Your brothers are pretty rough. Yeah. After mom and dad got really heavy into Super Juice, they spent all of our money on the Buy Stuff Now network. Me and my brothers had to fend for ourselves until we were old enough to move out. It brought us closer, but we all still kind of hate each other. Wow, yeah. I had a cousin who went a little overboard with Super Juice, too. It seems like everyone who gets really into it spends all their money on useless stuff. Yeah, they do. I've also noticed they get really into the news. Like, current events just take over their lives, and they believe everything they hear. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. I wonder why. Shh, stop. Someone's coming. Quick, let's hide behind this rock. I could have sworn I heard something over here. Ah! It's probably just an animal or something. Let's keep looking. Okay, we're clear. Let's keep going. Man, those guys are relentless! So what's the plan, anyway? How are we getting off this island? When we were flying in, I thought I saw an old fishing boat by the shore. The prison facility is in the Pupil Islands, and there are thousands of islands out here, so it'll be tough for them to track us down if we can make it to one. I think our best bet is to head to the nearest island and hope we find people who can help. Wow, that's actually a decent plan. So all we have to do is find the boat and we're home free. Yeah, let's see if the boat can even float before we get excited. We're not out of here yet. I recognize this place. It's right over there. Let's go. There it is. Our path to freedom. I don't see any oars, so I guess we're just gonna have to let the currents guide us. Anywhere the ocean takes us is sure to be better than staying here. Hop in. Let's get the hell off this island. Man, we could be out here for weeks waiting to see an island or a boat. This is how people die in the movies, you know? We're not going to die, Javid. It's only been a few hours. There are islands everywhere out here. It won't be much longer. If you say so. One thing's for sure. If we survive this, I'm definitely going to have a story that will knock Cricky's socks off. A first-hand account of being captured and imprisoned by a billionaire only to escape and expose his criminal enterprise. I mean, kidnapping us was pretty messed up, but it didn't sound like he was doing anything else illegal. 
How could it not be illegal? He controls everything. It's just how the world works, man. The government and the corporations all work together to get theirs, and we all let them do it. Well, I don't believe it has to be that way. I think people deserve to know what's going on. I wish it were that easy, man. People are so distracted by shiny things that they don't pay attention to stuff that matters anymore. Well, maybe this story could change that. Maybe this story could get their attention. I'm not gonna lie. The past 24 hours have been pretty nuts. But we still need to see how this story ends. What can we do, though? We're just floating aimlessly out here. Keep your eye out on the horizon for any signs of land or a boat passing by. It can't be long now. Oof, I'm so hungry. Okay, so maybe it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. We've been staring at the horizon all day and I haven't seen anything. Yeah, but we can't give up hope. I bet when we make it through this, we'll look back on it and laugh. I sure hope so. I could really go for a sandwich right now. Shh, did you hear that? Something is out there. Be very quiet. Um, Jaden! Incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Over there! This is unbelievable! Whoa! That was unreal! Haha, <laughs> that was pretty dope! Jaden, look! There's land! Man, what a night! It feels so good to be on land! Whoa, look at this place! Well, we're definitely not in New Cornea City anymore. Let's take a look around and see if we can find something to eat. Okay, but stick close. There's no telling what's out there. Okay, keep a lookout for anything that looks edible. Jaden, look over there! Wow, what is it? It's a sign that people who could help us might be nearby. I've never seen this kind of writing before. Maybe it's some kind of landmark. Whatever it is, let's just hope the people who made it are friendly. All right, enough sightseeing. Let's keep moving. I'm not seeing much out here but trees and grass. What are we looking for exactly? You gotta look for anything we can eat. Fruit, berries, small animals. If we can't find anything else, trees and grass might be our dinner tonight. Oh man, I sure hope not. I'd personally be more concerned with not becoming dinner for some wild creature out here. Well, that certainly makes me feel better. Stop, I hear something. Oh no, do you think it's an animal? What should we do? Be very still. Oh! Oh! Jaden! Jaden, wake up! Ugh, oh, where are we? What happened? We got ambushed in the woods. All I know is I blacked out and woke up here. Ambushed? By who? I don't know who they are. But there's a guard at the door who won't let us leave.
They are awake and ready to see you. I am Ahrin, leader of the Children of the Ancients. What is your purpose here? We were kidnapped and escaped by boat. Yeah, we've been floating around in the ocean and washed up on shore here. You are from the city. You can't stay here. I'll have my people prepare a boat to return you home in the morning. Wait! The people who kidnapped us are still after us. If you send us back now, they'll kill us! You seem genuine, and we must help those in need. I will speak with the others and see what I can do. Thank you. We're very grateful. So, uh, what are the chances you have any food? For now, I will see that you are fed and will keep a guard posted at the door. Get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Hello? Who's there? Shade. Whoa! Shade. Shade. Could it be? Wait, come back! Ahren is ready for you in the courtyard. Follow me. I sure hope you know what you're doing. The Council agrees, Axon. These strangers are in need and we must help them. We can't trust them, Arryn. Maybe so, but the prophecy will never come to light if we turn away strangers in need of our help. Ah, uh, the prophecy again. Good morning. I hope the accommodations are suitable. We don't have many guests here. Uh, um, yeah, everything was great. I'm glad to hear. Would you two care to take a walk with me? Yeah, of course. Lead the way. This way. I spoke with the Council and they are sympathetic to your situation. They have agreed to let you stay for as long as you need. Wow, that's awesome! Thank you so much. It's really beautiful here. Indeed. We only ask that you learn and respect our customs as long as you stay. What kind of customs? Is this one of those religious cults? Hold up! This is a cult? The Children of the Ancients is not a cult. We are the keepers of ancient traditions, passed down for thousands of years. So who are the Ancients anyways? Why were they so important to your people? Not just my people, your people as well. Our people? You really have no idea where you come from, do you? This way, I have something you need to see. So I haven't seen any super juice around here. Don't you guys have any? Back home, everyone drinks it. Super juice has no place here. How do you not get sick? We've all been drinking it since birth. If more than a week goes by without any, I can't get out of bed. You will understand everything soon enough. So the Ancients, did they look like us? Not exactly. The Ancients had ten eyes. Our ancestors evolved to have only one after settling on New Cornea. Whoa, ten eyes? That's wild. Indeed. They were an incredible people. With knowledge and technology the universe has not known since. Wow, that's so cool! I can't believe they don't teach us this stuff in history class. Yeah, I always thought we evolved from plants. Ugh, did you pay attention in school at all? I don't know, man. I never really put too much thought into where we came from. Well, I think it's fascinating. 
the thought that thousands of years ago some forgotten alien race gave birth to our civilization doesn't get you excited? I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. We have arrived. Welcome to the cave of Ailagru. Not disappoint. Look at that. It's amazing. This is what I wanted to show you. It's important you learn the story for yourselves. Long ago, there was a society of ten eyed beings. Now, Almost forgotten, they are known only as the Ancients. They were intelligent with a thirst for the unknown and quickly became a space-bound civilization. They ventured through space, cataloging plants and animals they discovered on distant planets. Eventually, they discovered a rare tree in the galaxy they lived in. The fruit was sweet, but sour. Eating it would give you energy, strength, and the ability to access the plane of existence where all knowledge was kept from the beginning of time. They called it Mudutu. They ate the fruit with no regard for the trees. Stripped bare and left to die, the trees grew smaller in number over time. With their newfound discovery, their society flourished. But as the fruit supplies ran low, they began to grow ill and die. The few that were left took the remaining supply and diluted it, venturing out into space to find new Mudutu forests still hidden amongst the stars. They found a few trees scattered on random planets, picked their fruits and noted their locations. Several of the planets were settled by the travelers and over millions of years, the travelers evolved to take on traits conducive to their new host environments. They discovered a planet at the edge of the galaxy, near the Great Unknown. The planet was teeming with Mudutu trees and quickly became their new home. They called the planet New Cornea. The sun was so powerful on New Cornea that they no longer needed all ten eyes to see. Over thousands of years they evolved to have a single large eye. Eventually they would be known as the Blinkless. The Blinkless discovered that the Mudutu fruit, when juiced and diluted, was a powerful toxin, capable of mind control. They created corporations to sell the elixir, branding it as Super Juice. With society brought to heel, completely dependent on Super Juice, the corporation seized the moment to sell them anything and everything they could. And thus, the history of the ancients was forgotten, replaced with mindless materialism. An entire culture washed away in the name of profit and greed. This is your true history. This is where all Blinkless come from. Incredible! So the Madutu fruit is real! Now it all makes sense. The corporations have run out of Madutu fruit, so they can't make any more super juice. They're trying to synthesize it. If they are successful, I'm afraid your people may be more lost than ever before. How dare you let him escape again? I've grown tired of your incompetence. They outsmarted us, boss. What did you want us to do? You could start by not letting prisoners escape once we've already captured them. To be fair, that blue-haired kid knows how to fight. I definitely didn't see that coming. Do you hear yourself? You got taken down by a child. Ha ha! Yeah, and you were crying when I found you lying on the ground. You're not helping. Enough! Now how are you going to fix this situation? I don't know, boss. If they got off the island, they could be anywhere. There are so many islands out here. We could never search them all. You don't know? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to find them? bring them back here and lock them away for good. If we have to have this discussion again, 
It'll be the two of you who get locked in a cage. Of course, boss, but... Excuse me, did I stutter? Now get out of here before I decide to trade you in for someone who doesn't get outsmarted by children. Okay, we're on it. No need to do anything drastic. Yeah, we'll get them, don't worry. You better. My patience is thinning quickly. Who's there? Man, is this another one of those weird dreams? Jaden. What? What do you want? Whoa. Jaden. Is that a Mudutu tree? Is that what you want to show me? You want me to eat the fruit? Is that what you're trying to say? Hey, where'd it go? Jaden. I don't understand what you want from me. What do you want me to do? Jaden. Wait, you haven't answered my question. Hello? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? You okay, man? Having a bad dream? Yeah, I'm good. I've just been having these weird dreams that are kind of freaking me out ever since we got here. What kind of dreams? Well, there's this voice that's calling my name, and then I'll see a Mudutu fruit, but it disappears and I can never reach it. You have seen visions of the Mudutu? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. What does it mean? Our ancestors foretold of a man who would come from the city. He is said to experience the calling of the Mudutu tree and will restore order to New Cornea. And you think that could be me? How am I supposed to restore order? Jaden, this is so cool. You're like a prophet or something. I can't be certain, but I can take you to the tree. It is there you will find the answers you seek. Wait, there's a tree here? I thought they were all wiped out. Indeed there is. The corporations in the city do not know of it, and that is how it should stay. Otherwise, it would surely be destroyed. Whoa, a real Mudutu tree here on New Cornea? Indeed. Gather yourselves and prepare to head out. We will return to the caves where the tree resides. Okay, we'll be ready in a few. I will inform the others of our intentions and prepare for the journey ahead. These caves are part of a massive network that runs just beneath the island's surface. There are so many, we have yet to explore them all. Wow, I bet there's all kinds of fascinating historical relics down here. I'd hate to get lost down here. Yeah, but think of all the incredible stuff you'd probably discover. There's Java, always looking at the bright side of things. Okay, this is it. The last Madutu tree in all of New Cornea. My people's most treasured secret. Let's meet the tree. Whoa, this is the same place I saw in my dream. The tree must have been calling you here. Wow, a real live Mudutu tree. Incredible. Here, have a taste. Oh, wow. I... I think I feel something. Yeah, Java. Me too, man. Ah! Ah! Whoa, I've been here before. Where is here, though? I think this is how the fruit communicates with us. Whoa, what's it trying to say? Your guess is as good as mine. Jaden, look! It's the whale! Well, that wasn't here last time. <laughs> You'll never stop. You're not good enough. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. 
It's okay, Javid. Just let go. Don't try to fight it. Whoa. Um, Javid. Uh-oh. You have tasted the fruit. Now you must restore order to New Cornea. How? What do we need to do? Show the light to those who live in darkness. Open your people's minds and you will set them free. I understand now. I know what we need to do. I wish we could stay longer, but we have to let the people back in the city know they're being brainwashed. You must walk your path. I understand and wish you well. Man, I'm sure gonna miss this place. The tree has chosen you both. You are welcome to return any time. Next time, I'll refrain from shooting you in the neck with a poison dart. Well, we'd certainly appreciate that. I've had Axon and the others prepare a boat to take you back to the city. It is about three days' voyage from here. Thank you. And don't worry, we'll keep your secret safe. Thank you. And may our paths cross again soon. What's that sound? That's them. They found us. Quick! Let's head them off in the jungle. There's a boat. Sit it down on the beach. For me? It's payback time. You're going down, kid. up for this. Oh no you don't. Ah! Looks like we won't be needing that boat after all. Do you think they'll be back? Of course they'll be back, Axon. Their journey is just beginning. I still don't understand how you knew the tree would call to them. Lucky guess, I suppose. There it is. Super Juice 2.0. It took us a while, but we were finally able to figure it out. Very good. I always knew you could do it. It works as intended? Oh yes. It's actually much more effective than the classic juice we made from the Mudutu fruit. Very good. Very good indeed. Now that we aren't limited by Mudutu supply, we'll get this on every shelf in every store in every corner of the planet. Yes, sir. We should be able to have production running full speed in a couple of days. I'll get in touch with our media contacts. We should make an announcement and let people know about the new formula. Come with me to the television station. Yes, of course, sir. Oh, and make sure you wear that lab coat. I'd never go anywhere without it. Perfect. 
Welcome back to the city. Right over there. Set it down next to the TV studio. Yeah, boss, no problem. We'll just push back our segment on Ultimate Baby Fight Night, and you can hop in with your announcement when we get back from commercial. Excellent. Did Cricky just call him boss? He did say he had just about everyone on his payroll. So here's how it's going to go down. Cricky announces the new Super Juice formula, and you're going to tell everyone you're a doctor. But I am a doctor. That's not important. Just tell them that the health benefits of the new formula are better than ever before. Make them want it. Oh no. It sounds like they figured out how to synthesize super juice. We have to tell people before it's too late. Yeah, once people know the truth, they won't be able to get away with it anymore. All right, we go on in five minutes. You guys ready? Let's find somewhere to hide. Maybe we can crash their broadcast. Wow, great turnout today. I'll start us off, then turn it over to you. Hello, New Cornea. We've got a special guest in the studio with us today who has some big news about Super Juice. That's right, the magical drink we all know and love is getting an overhaul to make it better than ever. Joining us from the Medical Profit Agency, here's Dr. Aldrew Neutron with all the info. Hi. Yes, we're very excited to announce that the brilliant scientists over at the Institute of Unpopular Opinion have upgraded Super Juice, making it better than ever. That sounds awesome. Please tell us more about how new Super Juice is so amazing. Right. Uh, well, first off, I'm a doctor. You hear that, folks? He's a doctor. That means you can trust what he says. Right. Exactly. Anyways, I'm a doctor, and new Super Juice has more health benefits than the old Super Juice did. Ooh, health benefits. I like the sound of that. This is not good. Yeah, people love health benefits. The new formula is far superior and will be available this week from your favorite retailers. If you care about your health, your family, and your future, make sure to grab some as soon as you can. That's right, folks. I tried a sample of this stuff backstage earlier and I was like, whoa, where have you been all my life? It's no joke. You gotta get your hands on some. That's it. We have to do something about this. Come on! Everyone stop! You're being lied to! Yeah, Super Juice isn't what you think it is. You're being brainwashed by the corporations. They're using Super Juice to control you. They just want you to buy their stuff so they can make more money. Super Juice is a powerful mind control drug, and we've all been taking it every day. But it doesn't have to be this way. We don't have to let them get away with it. We all have a choice. Together, we have the power to take them down and hold them accountable. Together, we can ensure our freedom now and for generations to come. Now we know this is a lot to take in. Are there any questions? Um, yeah. So what flavors do they make? Ooh, I hope they have strawberry. What flavors? Weren't you listening to anything we've been saying? Yeah, but I like Super Juice. I don't really care how they make it. Yeah, Super Juice is the best. I like Super Juice too. Why do these guys not want us to have Super Juice? Javid, what's happening? I think the Super Juice is too powerful. They're hooked on it, so it doesn't matter what we say. Super Juice cured my sciatica. Super Juice made me rich! They're delusional! What do we do? <laughs> what can you do? They're too far gone. You can't bring them back. You won't get away with this. That's where you're wrong. I just did. Don't let these Debbie Downers ruin all the fun. Super Juice would never disappoint you. Yeah! Super Juice would never try to spoil your day. Super Juice is what you need. But do you have strawberry? I, I, uh, I don't think we're gonna win this one, Javid. <laughs> now you're getting it. Now what you've all been waiting for. 
free super juice for everyone. did we park it? I thought it was right here. Um, you didn't leave the keys in it, did you? Um, I'm almost certain you I... You left the keys in it. Yeah, I guess I did. Ugh, I'm too old for this. 